Now I'm going to sort of preach a little bit. What's uh, the main? I mean, we're, we're blessed with all this groundwater here, but because of uh, the amount that we're pumping out of it, um, we have an issue, particularly in Florida, but it's probably affecting us in Georgia, of the um, springs drying up. So this is uh, White Springs in Florida, where there was uh, bathing. Basically, it was a health spa that people went to, or a recreation area where people went to go swimming. And now it's, um, this is like in the 19th, late 19th century, but now it's, uh, that walkway is like uh, seven or eight feet above. Uh, and this isn't even groundwater, this is water that's getting, uh, coming out of the river, so it's not really clean water. It doesn't really get any spring water in it. So we're by by pumping water out of the aquifer, we're uh, causing these springs to dry up, and the um, there have been um, collapsed sinkholes through time in in, um, in the southeast. This is uh, one in 1981 where I think it was a car dealership that. Uh, uh, lost a bunch of cars into it in near near Orlando, but not on this. Actually, that was a that was a big one, but we just had even. Um, Let's get to Josh now. Take another top story. Starting with that massive sinkhole down in Florida. Yeah, we saw some pictures at the top of the show. We're going to begin there. It's breaking out of Central Florida. The sinkhole swallowing up the resort building you see here. People woke up in the middle of the night to a cracking sound. Minutes later, they were told to get out as fast as they could. All of this happened right now, just 19 miles outside Orlando in the town of Claremont. They had no warning. First, the lights went out in chaos. And we heard some shaking, glass breaking, and we thought maybe it was just kids running up down the hall or something. So uh, next thing I thing out there, people are yelling, get out of the building, get out of the building. Within seconds, this massive crack had opened in the foundation caused by a 40 to 60 foot wide sinkhole that had opened beneath the building, growing deeper by the minutes. And as the building grows, people became more desperate to escape. One person had to break out of the window because the door frame collapsed, and as him and his wife and him went, he had to break the window just so that they could escape. By 3 a.m., an entire section of the resort villa, a complex of some two dozen apartments just west of Disney World, had collapsed. The entire building tilting dangerously to one side. Right now, the, the three-story building looks like a two-story building, and it's it's just um, utter chaos. And this morning, emergency crews evacuated another villa nearby, not sure about the stability of the ground. Thankfully, everyone did escape the villa safely before the collapse. Take a look at that as dawn has broken in Claremont. Those pictures terrifying. The sinkhole may, in fact, be growing deeper, authorities believe, but so far it does not appear to be growing wider, which is helping crews as they try to stabilize the area. We'll have updates throughout the morning. 